Did the last pyramid of Egypt explode 12,000 years ago? Again, this is about the time of the Clovis Comet impact, about 13,000 years ago. That broke into seven large pieces of over a mile each. And uh, they were originally thought to have impacted the uh, North America, putting an end to the Clovis culture and the megafauna, flora, the woolly mammoths and the sloths and everything. But they found pieces all over the world. Now, this pyramid supposedly exploded. Did the lost pyramid of Egypt, believed to have been the highest pyramid ever built, at 722 feet, around 240 feet taller than the Great Pyramid of Giza, explode tens of thousands of years ago? Researchers agree that the most noteworthy, noteworthy detail about this pyramid is the fact that the upper part of the structure seemingly disappeared, as we see from uh, images. The top part has totally been blown off. And the one behind that in the 11, 12 o'clock position is uh, not in good shape either. So, researchers agree the most noteworthy detail about the pyramid is the upper part is dis has disappeared. Have you ever wondered about the real purpose of pyramids on Earth? Not only those present in Egypt, but all around the globe. Now, we still don't know who built these, but there is the uh, legend of the Emerald Tablets written by Thoth the Atlantean. The uh, mythological or ancient Greek uh, writers writing that these were Atlantean constructions. Those who had left Atlantis before the sinking of Atlantis went to other areas of the world and set up new cities. The first thing they put up were pyramids. Why did they do that? It's still a mystery. Now, why did ancient cultures create pyramids all around the globes, tens, the globe tens of thousands of years ago? Moreover, why is it that many of these majestic ancient structures are so eerily similar to each other? Did ancient civilizations follow the same construction patterns thousands of years ago? And if so, how is it possible if they were never connected with each other as mainstream scholars state? So is it coincidence that they did all this the same way? I don't think so. Now, however, if they did follow a similar pattern in ancient times, who taught it to them thousands of years ago? But the how is perhaps not as important as the why. I highly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Why did the ancient build pyramids in the first place? Were they mere tombs, as mainstream scholars point out? Alternatively, is it possible that these ancient monuments had a much different purpose unknown to mainstream science? Is it possible these majestic pyramids placed around the globe had specific purposes to go beyond today's comprehension? Moreover, what if they were part of a lost technology that was transferred to the ancients thousands of years ago? Many researchers suggested throughout the years that pyramids around the globe were in fact placed in specific geographic locations by ancient cultures, creating a global pyramid network which had one goal only, that was to harness the natural energy of our planet. In other words, most of them have been found and they're found being on the Earth's ley lines. Now, one of the most peculiar pyramids, or at least what's left of it, is found at Abu Rawash, eight kilometers from the Great Pyramid of Giza. And there we'll find the site of ancient Egypt's most northerly pyramid, commonly referred to as the Lost Pyramid. While many researchers firmly state this pyramid was never finished, the archaeological community agrees that not only was the pyramid finished in ancient times, but it was about the same size or larger than the Pyramid of Benkari, the third largest of the Giza Plateau pyramids. According to the documentary, The Lost Pyramid by History Channel, the ancient pyramid at Abu Rawash well, may have been the highest pyramid ever built at 722 feet, making it some 240 feet taller than the Great Pyramid of Giza. However, what's strange about the pyramid of Dead Drefre at Abu Rawash well, one of the most noteworthy details about the pyramid is that the upper part of the structure has seemingly disappeared. As Brian Forrester points out 
in one of his videos while exploring the archaeological site of Abu Wash, it's possible that the pyramid at Abu Rawash was part of the energy grid power plant system thousands of years ago in a region that was called the land of Osiris during the pre-dynastic period of ancient Egypt. This period is a time when heavenly rulers, quote unquote, what we call gods with a lower G, ruled over the land of the pharaohs. Brian Forster points out that it is possible that the top of the pyramid at Abu Rawash exploded tens of thousands of years ago due to a destabilization of the entire energetic system, even possibly during the last ice age. One of the most fascinating things about the pyramid at Abu Rawash is the fact that its interior is entirely accessible by foot. Once inside, you will notice the huge amount of work that needed to be done before the actual construction phase started. The pyramid at Abu Rawash was built on top of a hillock, which means that the ancient builders had to face the monumental task of not only hauling megalithic pieces of rock to the site and up a pyramid, but also up a hill. The impressive features seen inside what remains of the pyramid also raise more questions than they provide answers. Once the pyramid was completed, it was considered as the most beautiful pyramid ever constructed in ancient Egypt, having an exterior polished imported granite, limestone with a huge pyramidon placed on top. Pyramidon means pyramid. The ancient name of pyramid was Dedefris Starry Sky. Is it possible that, as Brian Forrester suggests, that the pyramid at Abu Rawash was one of the, the many ancient power plants, quote unquote, erected by ancient cultures thousands of years ago? And if it was, what caused its top to blow off? Is it possible that the pyramid at Abu Rawash exploded tens of thousands of years ago due to the destabilization of the entire energetic system? Or is there another explanation? We don't know what happened to these pyramids and this catastrophic destruction some 10 to 12,000 years ago. This is Unbedded Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.